The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and, pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But, he was still hungry. Oh, hungry. On oh, Wednesday, hungry. he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. Oh, hungry. Oh, hungry. On Thursday, hungry. he ate through oh, wow, wow, four strawberries. Wow. But he was still hungry. Oh, hungry. <laughs> On Friday, wow, he wow, ate through wow, wow. five oranges. But he was oh, still hungry. hungry. Oh, hungry. On hungry. Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomachache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house, called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and pop. He was a beautiful butterfly. The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. <laughs> said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ba ba bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma ma said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. I, I. Grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Whoop, whoop. Barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack. Called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. Crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pestly fly? and the spider caught the fly in her web. Just like that. Who, who? Asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. 
She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chipped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittlebug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened, not a sound. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, would a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. That nothing happened, not a sound. As the lunar moth disappeared, silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together. One more time. And this time. He choked. The most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Eric Carl, The Tiny Seed It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts, and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Now, it is winter. After their long trip the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now, it is spring. After a few months the snow has melted. 
It is really spring. Birds fly by. The sun shines. Rain falls. The seeds grow so round and full they start to burst open little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves began to grow up toward the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed, and it takes all the sunlight and the rain away for one of the small new plants, and that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry. But finally, it starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children hot to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child does not see the plants as he runs along, and oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow any more. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast. But its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? First, there are footsteps. Then, a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked. The flower to give to a friend. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses, and now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower, and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind. But the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. The tiny seed, by Eric Carle.